Good morning from Bury. Well, we are going somewhere exciting today. Well, probably not exciting for you, but definitely exciting for me <laughs> because we're going to a breaker's yard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> probably you think, wow, that's really stupid. How can you be excited for that? But the truth is, I don't know, but I like really like breaker's yard, like salvage yards and all that. There's all those cars there and all all the stories you know behind those cars they are uh, being either torn torn up torn to pieces or or i don't know crushed or something it's just i don't know every time I, i'm going to one of these places and i'm looking around it's like like wow that's a really nice car or look at that wheels look at that i don't know front bumper in perfect condi condition and it's something I don't know. I think I would have been a hoarder if it wasn't from for my wife. <laughs> I'll be honest, because <laughs> that's why that's why probably I'm having like a really. Uh, hang on, I have to turn right. It's left here. Yeah. No, um, I'm having a really hard time of um, of parting of my uh, with my cars and my goods. You know, uh, I don't like to sell. I've never liked it that's why I'm not selling my van that's why I'm still driving a almost 20 year old car and <laughs> you know what I mean uh, okay weight limit 300 yards ahead let me see where the hell are we going I'm not going through the restriction I have to turn left somewhere but I just don't know I'll make it Wow through here Jesus Christ through here is this not even a street I have to I have to turn around somewhere because I'm not going the right way yeah, I'm just gonna go back on the main road and then turn the right the way that truck was coming from, that's where I have to be. Yeah, I see trucks. Always good when I see trucks. This looks like a proper road. The thing is, I do have to like uh, update my uh, my Garmin. And I know people are asking me which which is the best sat nav, what sat nav am I using? But the the best sat nav is gonna be always your eyes. I mean, you just have to. Uh, just have to be careful just don't go whenever whatever they uh, whatever the sad nap told you here we go auto save this is the breakers yard that we are looking for looking for that ramp can't see any ramp probably I'm not loading uh, on the ramp so you know what I don't even know I'm not in the right place I mean this is the company but they just uh, have to go at a different yard the only problem with these uh, breakers yards that uh, they don't have like the cleanest like the cleanest uh, yards and there is a huge risk of punctures right I'm going in so I'm gonna turn off the camera so the problem was the box should have been the other way around because we are going into the so-called filter where they're gonna lift off the box and they're gonna load it from the from the top so this is the tilter on the left I'm gonna get myself straight and reverse it in there let's make sure this guy knows we are here
Just look at all those cars. Got engines back there. Here's another one. It's a Citroen. This one deserves to be scrapped. Yeah, you scrap them, guys. You scrap it. Fucking Citroen C4. <laughs> to the scrapper. That's what you take. Naughty, naughty French car. <laughs> My God. No, oh, that's a good garage. Might save that. <laughs> Off you go. There goes a mini. I mean, he comes flying. Woo! Off you go to the bin. They even got a camper van and a good Renault Premium. If anyone wants to, uh, to buy one of those Renaults, oh, you know what? I think it suits better for him, like right here on the scrapper. Oh, forget about that. But if you want the camper van, maybe you can still salvage that TV aerial and the back windows. Right. Well, hold on. Do not park here. Don't like way bridges. And I don't like way bridges especially. Oh, this gate is shutting on me. Open the gates. No. I don't like way bridges when I'm when I'm in the new Scania. Come on. Ah, right. Not sure where we're going yet, but should be able to stop for a minute somewhere. Probably all these cars have to come in as well. Wow, look at them. These are probably like the hybrids or something, a lot of Toyotas. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm gonna find out where we're going and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so it's been a few days now. Um, nothing interesting happened really that's why I, I didn't film anything but here we are at another collection and once again I'm collecting rubbish well this this time is not uh, metal this time is uh, cardboard or paper or whatever and uh, probably most of the container drivers will uh, will tell you the same thing most of the collections that we are doing on containers is rubbish <laughs> now either metal or paper or plastic or whatever they just load these things up in containers and they are sending them over to um, poorer countries like um, Iran Pakistan um, Brazil uh, Turkey and stuff like that just search this this topic because it's really interesting more interesting fact is that these programs are run and paid and financed by the government. How do I know this? Well, this was a couple of years ago, probably, I don't know, around six, seven years, I, I don't remember. I, I still had my uh, my own truck back then and I've picked up a, a load from uh, from Germany. It was all, um, it was trash, basically rubbish, thick foil, you know, like the wrapping foil, like the industrial one. Uh, it wasn't washed, it wasn't clean, it was all drainy and smelly and I took it all the way to Romania and when I got there I started speaking to this guy who uh, uh, who was receiving the, this rubbish and he said that um, the German government actually pays the transport and pays the company who ships it so he gets it for free and from that wrapping foil what he does is basically some kind of uh, small plastic granules 
that later eventually it will turn into um, plastic bottles once again so everything gets recycled but of course there's a process there's some chemicals involved a lot of smoke and Germany and the West they just don't want to do this so they just throw all the rubbish to the poorer countries let them deal with it and they are pro proclaiming themselves very green and very uh, eco-friendly and uh, shit like that let me know what you think probably gonna get some uh, <clears throat> for this but uh, it's the truth and um, like I've said if you're gonna ask the majority of, uh, of container drivers that's what we are gonna load 99% of the time rubbish and exporting it to well poorer countries all right then time to go in be a blindside reverse blindside reverse is the opposite of a normal side reverse <laughs> I hope, really hope it helps I do have a banksman I think I hope and this is what we are loading cardboard stuff paper Rubbish, just rubbish. All right, we are on the windage. I wonder if the driver waiting area is like right here. I prefer waiting outside in the cold rain or something <laughs> that wait there <laughs> not sure if that what they meant we just stay right here but i wouldn't <laughs> what's that why am i going so slow because this is the speed limit and because i'm in wells <laughs> 20 miles an hour yeah this is how 20 miles an hour looks like I think from this week or the last week I don't remember exactly when but I know they have a new speed limit of 20 miles an hour through cities, towns or whatever so it dropped from 30 to 20 and yeah that's, that's a bit that's a bit way too slow if you're gonna ask me I mean that's like what 35 kilometers an hour 36 that's slow <laughs> I don't know why um, why they have this uh, this new speed limit I really don't know um, I, I don't know I mean in, in the new modern vehicles I mean the, the stopping distance drastically decreased and I mean I don't know I don't know what's what's with this uh, who had this idea but yeah a bit stupid if you ask me but let me know your opinions does it affect you like um, do you feel it on your commute or whatever For me personally it doesn't like really affect me because um, I'm only going uh, in uh, in Wales in um, probably just a few a few weekends a year so um, not really affected by this change but um, yeah it's a bit stupid if you ask me <laughs> been on this site last week but uh, for them so that's a different company and now I'm delivering here Uh, that time it took I think about six hours to tip but as I've said different company but we got handball as well this time so I'm not sure how long it's gonna be I'm going to be A4 A4 
side B. Oh, that's really, really tight. Let's go a bit wider. They have these, um, those yellow things for some reason. Not sure why. As you can stick it on the bay without those stupid things, you know. It is what it is. Thank God it's not raining. Why is it so complicated? Oh yeah, because of those stupid things. That's what I've been told. See the strange angle I have to be in? And on the other side, I bet I'm really, really close. Not too bad, actually. let them cut the seal and then straighten up and they're gonna give me the uh, green light probably today now yeah. oh, come on what you doing I'm gonna go open up back here into the bay again and then just wait I guess well, it took an hour and 20 minutes I'm surprised that's me tipped that's me done for today going back that was it for this vlog I think uh, let me know if you live in Wales let me know how you found the new speed limit thanks for watching and I'll see you next time